All right, another watermelon test with handguns. And what I'm doing today is something a little bit different than last time. Last time I did some calibers and cartridges that just took these things out in one shot. And a lot of people wanted to see something a little bit more realistic. So what I got today is our pocket gun test. Guns that I would consider pocket guns. And I do pocket carry all of these things. So they truly are pocket guns. So what I want to do is see, you know, with, with stuff that's a little bit less powerful, what we're going to get. So what I got here, first of all, is we got our 22 long rifle and we got a Breda Bobcat 2.4 inch barrel. And what I'm going to use is the CCI Stinger 32 grain. And I didn't actually chronograph this myself, but a lot of people are getting like 950 feet per second or 64 foot pounds energy out of a round like that. And that's pretty much typical what you're going to expect with a round like that. So we'll see what that will do to a watermelon. Next up, we have my carry gun, my 327 Federal Magnum. But what I'm going to use today, I wanted to use 32 long, but I didn't have any expanding tip rounds in 32 long. So what I'm going to use is the 32 H&R Magnum Critical Defense. And that's giving 977 feet per second or 170 foot-pounds energy. So it's not particularly powerful. And all these rounds here are, are about 200 foot-pounds or less. And with our 38 Special through our Taurus 605 here, we're working with 909 feet per second or 202 foot-pounds energy. So this is actually a standard pressure. It's a 110 grain. And that's kind of the, the theme I'm going through with all these. They're going to be kind of light for caliber. We've got 32 grain. we got 80 grain with the Critical Defense um, 32 H&R mag. A little bit lighter than most 32 longs. 110 grain, 38 Special. And the last one we're going to do is 380 ACP. And this and the 38 are, are HTP, Remington HTP. And this is an 88 grain. So it is a little bit light for caliber. So all of these rounds, I would consider good rounds. This actually used to be the carry round for this gun I would use before I switched to Winchester White Box. So very good rounds. So let's get started with this test and see how all these, you know, pocket gun cartridges will do against watermelons. All right, first up we have our 22 long rifle with our CCI Stinger. And, uh, see what this will do all right through it interesting let me run some more so I flipped it around, and you can definitely see right there on the back side, it was blowing big holes out the back. So pretty impressive in and of itself for that. Let me do a few more. All right, so that's about as far as we're going to go with our 22. Uh, so let's move on to something else. Next up, we have our 380 ACP. 380 is a decent round. A lot of people put it down, but... I'm pretty sure we're going to have better results than that 22. So let's see what our 380 will do. All right, pretty decent, a lot better than a 22. So, you know, 22 and 380 really are not in the same category, even though a lot of people think they are. So let's move on to something else. All right, standard pressure 38 special nuts. We'll see what this will do compared to the 380. <laughs> this is looking more like one of those bigger calibers I tested a little while back. Yeah, no compare. 
comparison. That, that's a true service caliber. A lot of people want to say, oh, it's as weak as 38. But really, it's not. That's the standard pressure even. Let's move on to something else. All right, I saved the 32 h &R mag for last because I don't really know exactly what this will do. I've never shot a melon with 32 h &R mag. So I'm curious uh, to what we might get. We'll have a lot less recoil than that 38. I know that. So let's see what we get. That was impressive. I didn't think it was going to do that. So let me uh, get a little lower, get the rest of these pieces. Wow, that did it just as well as the 38 Special. I was not expecting that. That was awesome. And we're talking like, I don't know, it's not it's not half the recoil of the 38 Special, but it's, it's lower. And this gun is actually lighter than that 38 Special, so that's pretty good. So that's what you get today, pocket guns. All pocket gun calibers are definitely not created equally, and we can see that here, so. That's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.